clouds, 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 they are everywhere. And have you ever been eager to find out how thick that cloud layer above you is? Yeah, well neither have I. But this understanding can be relevant as a pilot, especially for instrument flying. This knowledge will also be a skill you will find helpful when preparing to take an FAA pilot written exam. Here we will go over a few sample practice questions that could be similar or representative to the kinds that you may encounter during one of your own written exams, especially for those exams for instrument flying. These kinds of questions ask to calculate the thickness of a cloud layer and will usually provide information like this. This question includes the elevation of the reporting station, a METAR report, and it also tells us the height of the very top of the cloud layer it is inquiring about. We will be using all these pieces of information to calculate the cloud layer thickness as our answer. In this case, we have the reporting station at 1,300 feet above mean sea level, and we will need to seek the cloud information from this METAR report and we are given that the tops of the overcast layer is at 3,800 feet. Let's draw this out so we can put it into perspective. Starting with the reporting station elevation, we have that up at 1,300 feet above mean sea level. Our next piece of information is the provided METAR report. It would help to already be familiar with how to read a METAR, and for the purpose of this question, we will focus on the sky condition portion of the report, where it is now highlighted in red. Here we will find the heights of the cloud bases, and they are reported with a three-digit number in hundreds of feet above ground level, or AGL. Since the question was asking about the overcast layer, we can disregard the broken layer height information. Now looking at this overcast height, remember these heights are given in hundreds of feet, so we can simply add two zeros at the end of 0 to 0 we see here, which will give us a height of 2,000 feet above ground level. That is where the bottom base is at with this overcast cloud layer. Now adding our last piece of information given, we were provided that the cloud tops were reported at 3,800 feet. It did not exactly clarify if this height is given in AGL or MSL. I try to avoid recommending to assume information, but sometimes we need to work around with what we have been given in these written test questions. We will say that this cloud top layer height is given in MSL. A simple way we can remember this is that we can often get cloud top reports from airborne methods, such as a pilot report, or PIREP for short. Cloud heights in a pilot report are given in MSL because they typically would be reading off the indicated altitudes from a barometric altimeter as they describe the cloud tops they are observing from their cockpit. On the other hand, ground-based reporting stations, such as the ones that generate METARs, they are giving heights in AGL. This is because their sensors are emitting signals upwards starting from ground level. Now we have all our heights illustrated and it's time to start calculating. Since we have the cloud base height in AGL, while our cloud top height is in MSL, we need to find what the cloud top height would be in AGL. We can make that conversion by making the ground level elevation as our starting point to measure from, so that way we won't be measuring any heights from mean sea level anymore. We will do this by subtracting the 1,300 foot MSL station elevation from the 3,800 cloud top height. The result will reveal to us that our cloud tops are at 2,500 feet AGL. At this point, all we have to do is find the difference between our top and base heights of the cloud layer to find the distance of space in between. Here we have figured that the overcast layer for this question is 500 feet thick. How about one more question to wrap up this practice, and with a little less background explanation this time. With this next question, notice how wording is slightly varied from our first question, but essentially, it's exactly the same type of problem. This is a very common trait when it comes to formats of written test questions. Identify your information here, 
that will be used to calculate the cloud layer thickness. You are encouraged to pause this video if you would like to take a moment to calculate this out on your own before we briefly go over the steps to get the answer together. Here we have our station elevation at 620 feet MSL. Let's subtract this number from the overcast cloud top height of 6,500 feet MSL. We will end up with our cloud top height at 5,880 feet AGL. Looking at the METAR next, we will find in there that the overcast base height is at 700 feet AGL. Now we will need to subtract that 700 AGL base height from the tops of 5,880. Our result will come to 5,180 feet for our cloud layer thickness. Were you studying to take your written exam in the future? I plan to continue creating more videos on similar topics that may come in helpful. If you are planning on taking a written exam, I wish you best of luck.